Good evening there. You've reached a push traffic tutorial on how to add a website and open it up in Composer, which is a web editor. Uh, this is an alternative to cPanel, Dreamweaver, or any other web editing software you have out there. Uh, your push traffic coach normally gives you a link to download Composer or any representative. And to add a website, like let's say the website you get from uh, the hosting account from Jump Launch or any other hosting company, on the left-hand side, underneath Site Manager, you're going, to to, you're going to see two little monitors that you'll need to click on uh, to, to add a site. So you click on that, and the information that's listed here it needs to be filled out. The, the majority of it comes from your cPanel information. So to get an idea, I'm just going to pull somebody else's site information so you can see that. The first thing that you need to do is basically add the site name. Okay, whatever the name of your website is, or whatever you need to remember what the website is, if you have more than one, um, then that's what you'll be naming the site because it's going to be appearing on the left hand side. The next thing you need to do is basically add the website name with the HTTP um, um, information in there within the actual URL information HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the name of your website. The next thing is the publishing server information. Now that starts off differently. That starts off with FTP. Uh, stands for File Transfer Protocol. Uh, that would be FTP colon forward slash forward slash the name of your website. Uh, the next thing that you would need is the username and password that you're issued when you open up a hosting account with a Jump Launch or any other hosting company. That would be entered here under username and then password. I recommend also that you check off the save password function so that way you don't have to remember unless you want to remember. So at that point, once that information is entered, you just click OK. And now you have uh, uh, you should have the list of your website on the left-hand side under Site Manager. Now the Site Manager box here opens up with the F9 key on your keyboard. So it can you can actually extend this box on the right to visually see um, um, a full view of your website within the actual application. You just have to hit it once to co open it and, op and hit it again to close it. That's F9 on your keyboard. Um, once you see your site listed, you just click on the plus sign icon on the left of the actual um, website name, and then you should have the files that are listed on the actual server. As you can see, if you've used cPanel before, it's the same file structure, but this time you're just using Composer to, to get to it. The next thing you need to do is click on the actual folder that the uh, website files are in, and that's the public underscore HTML. Click on the plus sign next to it, and then you'll see more actual uh, choices. For the first page, the first page is always named index.html on the jump launch servers. So uh, you just double click on the index.html and then eventually what's going to happen, it's going to end up on the right hand side. Um, a lot of times you will get errors. You don't need to worry about those. You just click OK until they disappear. It's just some kind of quirky function that does not um, basically allow people to uh, download all the information from the server. But you don't need all the information. You'll just need the actual locations of the text and the images. Okay, and basically this is the site, and at that point, if you wanted to change content or text, you just basically put your mouse cursor anywhere and basically start typing away. In this case, let's say I wanted to put right next to the word name, uh, I just basically, uh, if it's still running like this, you see the circles going around, just hit the, the actual X button here, and then it'll stop. So now you have basically the, the layout of the site. And you want to view and make changes uh, on the actual editor itself in HTML tags. Select that. Okay. And then if you wanted to make changes to, like, say you want to add your name or ch change the type or content on there, you just put your cursor anywhere where you want, and basically you'll have full functionality. If you wanted to change the header portion of the uh, review site, you just basically go ahead and and backspace, put your cursor wherever you want, and and uh, and then just say, you know, we could go ahead and just say something like this, more powerful, you know, something like that. 
And then once you make your changes on the content itself, all you need to do is go up here where it says publish, and basically it'll publish right onto the server that you're connected to. And then you'll come up with a menu up here that says that. And basically, once it's published, we want to be able to see if the changes took effect. So we want to see if Take Advantage is on there. We'll go ahead and open up the browser here. And we'll go to the site, which is uh, right here, I believe. And we'll scroll to the site and refresh the page. And then we can see that our changes took effect. And that's it. Basically, if you have more questions in regards to the editing using Composer, uh, please go ahead and uh, let your marketing coach know, uh, either from the phone call or via email. And um, thank you very much. We'll have more videos coming.